Well, hi, hi. We do have some very special guests in studio today. The African Children's Choir is about to perform. They look pretty excited. Yeah, look at those beautiful smiles. Can't wait to hear from them. But first, former choir member turned volunteer Paul Kibutha joins us with more about the group's mission and upcoming free shows. Welcome to Houston Life, Paul. Thank you so much. This choir was created in 1984, right. going strong ever since then, performed around the world with artists like Paul McCartney, Annie Lennox, Keith Urban, Mariah Carey. What's the mission? What's the purpose of all these performances? Uh, the purpose of all these performances is to create awareness of the need and the hope that is in Africa. The organization does all these tours over the years so that these children can show the world the hope that is back in Africa, unlike what the TVs of long ago used to show all the suffering and all. So they just try to bring out to show the hope and the joy that is back in Africa in these children. And this is composed of children between the ages of 8 and 11, all from Uganda, which, by the way, 17 years ago, you were one of the kids in the Oh, choir. yes. 17 years ago, I was little and cute. <laughs> yeah, things <change. laughs> You're still cute, oh, Paul. We still you. love you. So what was that like as a child for you to really travel the world, meet these celebrities, be on these unbelievable stages, singing your heart out. It was it was actually one of the best experiences I ever had. Yeah, as a child, traveling and tour, touring all over, seeing new things is quite an eye-opening experience. You get to meet so many people doing different careers, different things. You get to open your eyes to wider views of the world, and you get to know different things that you, have, you had never heard of. You get to meet people to create good friendships, people you still talk to up to today, and that as a child really brings out the joy, the happiness, and you learn more as you tour compared to if it's some kind of classroom setting mm -hmm. where you're only told this happens here and here on tour you are able to move from that classroom setting to being there exactly where things happen and you get to see things for yourself firsthand and the choir is part of a larger organization called music for life yes. essentially the mission is to give a voice to children living in African countries who maybe don't have the voice that yes. these children have yes that's very true the organization basically takes Africans most vulnerable children and educates them from as little as they are all the way until they are done with university and they're able to get jobs, help themselves and their families and also their communities. It's really incredible and you're here in town, you have um, an upcoming performance at Ecclesia Church in Houston, so that's where everybody can come and hear these magical voices, Oh right? yes, make sure that you're there, yeah, that's where they will be. What song will the choir be singing today, Paul? Today they will sing a song called Jahim Biza. Jahim Biza Mukama, which means I will praise God. Okay, yes. very nice. We look forward to that. And while you get set up with the choir, Paul, we do want to remind our viewers uh, that the African Children's Choir will perform this weekend in Houston at Ecclesia Church. And there's also performances set for Splendora, New Waverly, Lake Jackson, and Huntsville. All that information there on the screen. We do have a link for more information on our website. Very nice. And without further ado, performing live, the African Children's Choir. <laughs> the African Children's Choir. All right, we want to jump in and say hi to Shields. Hi. Hi, Shields. Tell us how old you are. 
I am nine years old. Nine years old. And talk to us a little bit about the feeling you get when you are on stage performing with some of your peers here. Sometimes I feel shy and sometimes I'm not shy. Very, very nice. And can you step forward a little bit here? Come on, come on out over here. So some, you mentioned that sometimes you feel a little bit shy, but do you feel more confident when you sing with this group? Yes, I do. <laughs> And do you feel like you're maybe opening people's eyes when you're on stage? Yes. It's very nice. I know. And t it must be pretty cool to sing these songs, because I have to tell you, there was a smile on everybody's face in here. What's that reaction when you see people smiling back at you listening to your performance? I feel nice. <laughs> you feel nice. Makes you seem happy, huh? Yes. Well, it seems like you're all very good friends, like you all get along. And I must tell you guys, they are all so well behaved. We heard you performing during your sound check, and we're really looking forward to having you throughout today's show because later on in today's show, you will be back to perform for us live. Shield, thanks so much for chatting with us. Welcome. And thanks to all of you for being here today. That was very nice. Welcome. And thank you, Paul. Appreciate it. We'll be right back.